I recently splurged and spent like all my life savings on these brand new AirPod Pros 2s. And I've been using them for over a month. And here's my review, I guess, on them. Let's get into it. First thing I want to talk about is obviously sound quality. There's a lot of things I love about these aside from that, but they're ob it's obviously the biggest feature about headphones. These things blow anything else I've ever used out of the water. And it's kind of hard to explain because um, I'm not good at articulating sound, <laughs> but it is very, very clear. Uh, I did a couple tests on it and the surround sound quality is very good. You can very much tell when something is in front of you or behind you. The best way I experience surround sound is with a, ref a reference point, like a video or something. Cause if I'm just listening to music, I kind of assume it's all behind me. The quality is so high, you can actually tell when other earbuds are low quality. The surround sound works flawlessly. In my experience, I haven't had any issue with it and it sounds like it's around you. I think there's not much more I can say about that. Now, obviously the sound quality is one of the biggest selling points or problems with any headphones at all. But the biggest selling point aside from that for the AirPods specifically was their noise cancellation. I would not say that it is absolutely silent all the time when you use the noise cancellation. I have used it on the bus and it does definitely dampen sound quite a lot, but you can very much still hear things. The adaptive mode is able to drown out long monotonous sounds very well, just like noise cancellation, almost to the exact point of noise cancellation, such as sirens. But other noises are kept in quite clearly, so you're able to hear what's going on around you and interact with your environment with no issue at all. Another big feature is obviously transparency mode. The main difference between adaptability and transparency is that transparency has no noise cancellation whatsoever. Another major feature is the conversation awareness. And I will be honest, I have not found the most use with this. Conversation awareness is a really useful tool that turns your AirPods automatically into transparency mode anytime it detects you or another person talking to you. Personally, I haven't found this too useful because the way they do it is a little odd. It'll automatically turn your AirPods to transparency mode, but it also just lowers your music or whatever else is playing. And while this sounds fine, it lowers it to a point where you can't hear it most of the time, and it also doesn't pause the music. I think if it paused whatever it was playing, it'd be a much more useful tool, because at the moment it's just you randomly skip out on parts of your podcast or your music or your video you're watching. It's also a little funky because it sometimes doesn't pick up on the fact that you're talking. So it's a little weird. That's the one gripe I really have with this is the conversation awareness isn't the best and most of the time I have it off especially when I'm using adaptability mode already. I think a major thing that people are gonna to wanna to know about is the USB-C port, because there's not a lot of people who actually have this coin. I will be honest, they charge very quickly. The case itself does take a while to charge, but the AirPods do charge very quickly to the point of I actually was able to plug them in to the case at 40% and within the time it took me to get lunch, meaning 20 minutes, they were up to about 85%. They're very fast charging, and of course that will last you, a 100% charge on an AirPod will last you about five and a half hours with noise cancellation turned off. The case itself boasts a 30 hour lifetime, and I'm not exactly 100% sure if I can corroborate that. I haven't fully tested it. I do know that um, I charge it every other night and it works fine, usually around 50% about then, but I've never had it full out die on me. Overall, the battery life, I mean, it's battery life. It works great. Uh, it does come with a USB-C charger, of course, with no block. So I just stole a random USB-C block from one of my family members, and I hope they aren't angry with me about it. Another major thing about these is the size and touch controls. Honestly, it is one of my favorite parts about these, probably. The touch controls are very interesting. You actually have to squeeze it. And while you might think you're pressing a button, it's fun, it's fun to do that. And while you might think you're just pressing a button, you're actually not, it is fully touch control. But because it plays a little clicking sound in the earpiece, you think you're clicking a button. It's really weird. Another big thing is when you put it in your ear, it pauses or resumes music. That's a massive thing a lot of people like. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a bunch of use for it, but it is nice occasionally to be able to pull it out, listen to what someone says, put it back in, and you can listen to your music immediately. You see this little, this little sensor right here actually detects skin and not just pressure anymore with the new AirPod Pros 2. So you're able to have it in your pocket and have no issue with that either. Now, if you put your thumb on it, it will freak out. Another big thing is that volume control is built in. You can just swipe up or down and you can have full access to the entire range of volume. Oh, and the volume is very loud. I have almost broken my ears by turning it up all the way. The one of where you have them like this, you can hear it from here where I am now. 
It's very loud. Don't do that to your ears. Another thing is that the sound chart is very wide. It is very loud and the bass is very clear. It is very clear bass. It feels like someone's punching your ears, but in a good way. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, the case is taking a lot of damage. It's very, very glossy, by the way. It's like literally, it's the most glossy thing I think I've owned in a long time. But it also is able to take quite a beating. I do actually have a dent in it from when I tried to get it in the morning and I dropped it and it hit the side of my dresser and it is now dented. But I have dropped it on solid hardwood floors from about four feet and it has not had really much impact on it that I know of. These also are completely available to use on fine mud. You can actually, there are actually built in speakers into the case itself so that it will play music and obviously each individual AirPod you can track individually. To the point of you can actually just it will give you like the arrow thing as well, the newer ones, which is really nice. Now, I personally have never lost these. In fact, I have never left them at it's home. It's not wood. It's not wood. That might be wood, I'm not sure. But I hope, but I have tested it a little bit and the, the case noise it makes is not super loud. So if you did lose it, I would not rely on that. I would rely on the actual finding feature on your phone. Uh, and you can track each AirPod individually just fine. Uh, there's one other thing, hold on. But uh, in fact, it'll actually let you know if you leave it behind, it'll give you a notification on your phone. Now I will say, I have only done that once. Now, compatibility with other devices. Obviously, if you're buying AirPods, you should have at least one Apple device, preferably a phone at minimum. Personally, I only have an Apple phone. I have nothing else related to Apple aside from my AirPods, and it works great with it. It is pretty much immediate from when you pull it out of the case. You can plug it in your ear. That sounds really weird. You can put it in your ear, and it'll immediately connect to your phone with basically no delay. I haven't had any problem with it. And that might not sound too great, like too big of an upgrade, but my prior headphones, you would have to wait like several minutes. You'd like fumble with it to get it connected and stuff. It is so much nicer to just put it in your ear and be able to listen to music. It is so amazing. <laughs> but compatible with other devices, I actually have used it with my Windows PC and I've had no problem with it. The only thing I have had on a Discord or Game Bar, uh, for some reason one of my friends uses that, uh, voice chat, it will sound like you're on a really crappy phone call and I don't know why but everything else sounds very high quality and no lag. I've actually played FPS games and had no issue using them whatsoever. It works amazingly on there and I have no other headphones because I spent all my money on these. So if you have a computer capable of Bluetooth, definitely use them, they work just fine. And that segues perfectly into the value I actually see in these and of course the price. I personally bought these for $200 at Best Buy um, because they were on sale, I think for the USB-C release. They had literally just gotten stock. I bought these September 22nd. I have gotten so much use out of these. I think I've used these more than almost any other earbuds I've had ever combined. And I've only had these a month and a half. I think that Apple is definitely an extortionate company in terms of their prices. The AirPods are one of the very few things I think are genuinely worth the price. Even if I had to pay the extra $50, I was perfectly ready to pay that. It was just a bonus that I found it for $200 rather than $250. I will be honest, I haven't used a lot of headphones, but I would give these a 10 out of 10 for their price and value. They are the best things I've ever used in terms of audio. And they also give you four months free of Apple Music. So. Definitely worth your money's worth. And hey, do you know what else is worth your money? Subscribing to the Storm Tech YouTube channel and clicking this here video on whatever YouTube decides. I don't know what's up here. You should figure it out. You should check it out yourself. Like the video, please. I worked yep. so hard. Subscribe and like the video and check out this thing. Bye.